Hi, I'm Larry London. This is Border Crossings. Today, we welcome the recent recipient of the Record of the Year honor at the Native American Music Awards for his hit song, Hoka, Nako. Nako is on tour in support of his solo debut, My Name is Bear. He's lived in many places, including a treehouse in Hawaii at the base of a volcano. His music has been featured on Spotify's most beautiful songs in the world when he released a song called Dragonfly featuring Harris Jackson, the daughter of the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Nako joins us today to discuss his journey and his new CD, My Name is Bear. This is Border Crossings. Hi, this is Border Crossings. My name is Larry London, and in our studios on tour for a brand new album, we'd like to welcome to Washington, D.C., an artist who goes by the name Nako. It's nice to have you. Aloha. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Aloha. You come here from Hawaii, but you've journeyed to many other places as well throughout your, your interesting life. Yeah, well, I only lived in Hawaii for about 10 years, but uh, it definitely changed uh, the course of my life. Uh, I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon, and Spent a couple of years in Alaska as a music director, uh, playing piano, and uh, moved to Hawaii uh, when I was 19, and thought I was going to be a farmer for like six years, uh -huh. and uh, always writing music, of course, um, but uh, it wasn't about till 2012 that I started to take uh, traveling and sharing the music seriously. And the name Nako, it's a name that you gave yourself? No, actually, my grandmother gave me this name. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm one of those weird homeschooled kids that uh, has two middle names. Is that something that happens? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, my middle name is Nakwese, so uh, short, of course, is Nako. It's a Cheyenne name, uh, and uh, but my, we're not from the Cheyenne tribe. We're actually Mescalero, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it means bear. Bear. It's interesting. There's the guy in One Direction who just named his baby Bear as well. Baby Bear. Baby. Well, not Baby Bear. <laughs> he named his baby Bear. <laughs> and your new CD is called My Name is Bear. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's just kind of a, a, it's a collection of songs that I wrote uh, about 12 years ago. Um, and uh, uh, our band, Medicine for the People, is uh, backing the uh, the record. And um, I, it's a solo record specifically because we didn't want to have to like um, go back in time necessarily and make it a part of our anthology that is continually growing into a more uh, political, uh, cultural, spiritual sort of uh, content. Mm -hmm. And uh, so going back in time in the specific era, is it's a very different um, vibe to it. Uh, but still relevant content and still um, music that really speaks to me, and I think that it's um, speaking to our, our fans as well. Well, we're glad to have you here in D.C. Maybe you can introduce the, the guys. Yeah, this is uh, Max Zerbner over here on the flugelhorn and uh, Tim Snyder on the violin. Mm -hmm. And when you do your concerts, is it acoustic or is this something special we're going to get just here it's today? It's a bit of both. Uh -huh. It's a bit of both. We like to rock out. You know, but uh, yeah, it's an acoustic show for this tour specifically. Um, but uh, it, we get we get pumping. <laughs> right. Well, Nako's here, and we're going to ask if you guys wouldn't mind doing a song for us. Sure, get absolutely. us going here today. Yeah, this first song we're going to play for you is called "Dragonfly." Cigarette out You should have faith In my mouth Like my mother Like your son Like my temperamental Lungs Each piece fits Into the next Like I'm not black And I'm not white Both review me In my sight You got twinkles in your eyes You say vegetarians save lives But there's your wings despite my back There's your baby's bassinet Will there be one more of me? Close my eyes and try to hide From my former dragonfly Don't let that on go Dum 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 d
Sounding great. Thanks. Naco, wow. That was like first that thing song. in the morning, too. Hey. Early in the morning, just woke up, hey. <laughs> and here you go into a studio. <laughs> I like that sound. I mean, Thanks. And I know that the album contains all kinds of different... You, you, you created the album from different sounds, like there's an African beat. You have yeah. birds, bird chirping. Actually, they're frogs. Frogs chirping. Cokey frogs, yeah. <laughs> and finger popping and all kinds of things finger going popping, on. Finger popping, lots of finger popping. So tell me, what do you define your music? Can you describe it or put a, a label? Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, Paul Simon, when he was talking about Graceland, he said that world music to him is when everybody comes in and does their part. And to me, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We collaborate from our sectors of the world. Uh, and I think it, I, iTunes specifically calls it alternative world music, and I think that's appropriate. You like that label? Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I like playing all kinds of music, you know, mm -hmm. and it can be certainly heard through the songs and it sort of still blends together and, and works. Mm -hmm. And you did something with uh, Paris Jackson not too long ago. Yeah, she was actually the star of that the music video for the um, song we just played for Dragonfly. And how did you two connect? Uh, I met her in L.A. at a show that we played a couple years ago and um, when I was making the treatment for the video um, she was listening to the record and I was talking to her about that song and 
uh, the idea just came up right away. I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool if we could feature you in this video? And and it sort of became her song, which is cool to watch something like that as an artist, like, uh, you know, something that comes from your heart and then, uh, it, you know, you birth it and then it, and then it, it can, it can be related to someone else so deeply. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was really special to get to tell her story, uh, visually, um, about her coming of age right now. Mm -hmm. And I actually wrote the song about the time that where she's at right now when she, she's like 19 right now. So right. I wrote the song when I was about 19. And she's had a couple of ups and downs in the last few years. And Don't yeah. we all? Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's a very well <laughs> stated. And she's beautiful, beautiful girl. So yes. you know, your video, I love the video. I watched it. Thanks. She's dancing around. Him. Now I wanted to ask you, you mentioned that My Name is Bear is a prequel album. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, I'm a huge fan of like uh, anthologies and, uh, and, and, chapters and books and like kind of theories like that i guess where you put things together for a purpose right uh so in in coming into them in my mind of when i was like oh how am i going to make this work and going back 12 years ago uh and telling a, a, an old story in a fresh way um uh, where um they're the songs that helped me write uh, the records that we already have out you know so uh, they are, you know, the, they're the foundation, I suppose, of uh, the songs from where I came from. Where's the most interesting in place you got influence for a song? Because you've lived, I mean, you've had quite like an land. interesting life. Anything that's interest, influenced you in writing a song, you say, wow, here I am and I'm, I'm writing a song about this oh. person, situation, experience. What? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a couple of things because uh, in like traditional cultures, we believe in like song lines, you mm -hmm. know, and so... Uh, it, it, it's part where you are geographically, whether it's like, you know, on your couch in whatever city you're in or uh, you're out on the land somewhere riding horses or whatever it is you're doing. And, uh, you know, then it's also environment, right? And uh, and then, of course, emotionally what you're going through and we take in so much, whether it's from the politics of the world or from our personal lives in our work um, or uh, in our family, you know, and so... Uh, it's, it's, music's really bizarre. It doesn't, uh, have any formula to it. And some people can capture like a, a moment. They say, okay, this is where I'm going to work on it. This is when it's going to come through. Um, but, uh, I feel like a lot of us, it's quite, um, awkward sometimes because it's not normal and, you know, you're there doing something and all of a sudden the idea or the line or the melody, you know, comes to you. And so, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's different every time. And, uh, I suppose that, Hawaii has been a huge um, a player in in uh, in all of those fronts, uh, bringing music to me, but also um, the planet. I mean, I travel quite a bit, and I traveled quite a bit before uh, the um, the band sort of officially formed, and so I gathered a lot of content and a lot of inspiration from just experiences. You know, and uh, and and uh, and places, of course, that I've been. So that's wonderful. That's a great story. Thanks. And it's it's your story. Nako yeah. is our guest here on Board Crossings. I go by. <laughs> <laughs> and if you wouldn't mind doing some more music, we'd love to Absolutely. hear some more. This uh, song is called "Be Here Now," inspired by the Ram Dass book. And uh, yeah, it's actually the first song I wrote when I moved to Hawaii. Uh -huh. is kind of irritating and by that I mean you're not alone I was waiting on you and you were waiting on me and so in silence we said wondering wondering from your mind down your shoulders to your right hand on a paper in the history, you're making plans. You got to wonder for me, and not for the land. Be here now. Be here now. While you are still around. Be here now. Take you under 
waterfall and kiss you There'll be no sleeping cause he's brand new And he dreamed this too Then your mind steps to who you're supposedly with And you say, oh, his grip is tingling your fingertips So why bother with that? And he's saying, yeah, be here now Tired of arguing, so we've just given up. And in the background, I hear enough is enough. So started moving further west. Just me and my guitar, and what we manifest. We are well worn, we are blessed. I see a city fuel my fight. I see some damn good years in the countryside. I see a quiet quiet life there's a tall brick building in the middle of town that's where several years later she still lives by the vow the same words to this day i love to sing out loud i'm gonna be here now be here now while we are still Sounding great. Wow. I, I really like the sound. It's it's unlike anything you find on the radio these days. It's it's a hey. you know, it's very, very great. You know, I love the sound of where are you living in Hawaii right now? Uh, I go back once a year now. I have a farm out there still. Mm -hmm. Um and uh yeah, it's a fully functioning farm. And uh so go back once a year. Just hard going back and forth from the island. It's a different kind of lifestyle from all the places you've lived. Alaska, Oregon, and Hawaii. I mean, they don't have a lot in common with one another, but yet whales. Well, <laughs> Whales, <laughs> whale watching. <laughs> Nako is with us on uh, border crossings. Medicine for the people. What's uh, who or what is medicine for the people? Uh, well, it's a band. Mm -hmm. uh, these are uh, we have six members total in our band, uh, uh, but it's also uh, an idea. Uh, it's uh, sometimes I call it a social experiment. Other times I call it uh, just uh, um, good people doing good things with uh, with music. You know mm -hmm. and. Uh, we've seen uh, through our own personal journeys with music transformation and uh, healing. And so uh, the name Medicine for the People is a nod to the healing uh, component of music and energy work and, uh, and how music can influence um, us, our generation, our, our people, but also uh, through our intention and tonality can affect uh, not only the vibration and the, the structure of water, itself which is what we're mostly made of but also uh the our planet and uh when i first started writing music i was playing to well when i was first starting write, writing music in hawaii uh, i was playing music to like our plants and stuff like our trees and stuff and they're all fruiting <laughs> they're happy trees happy trees they, they get sung to <laughs> yeah why not hey, why not exactly now so you're you're on tour right now is this an yeah, ongoing tour yeah we just tour? played our first show last night of this new tour oh and we were sweating we, you were working hard <laughs> <laughs> it went really well though <laughs> yes so, so yeah. this is a world tour oh yeah actually it is we go to Europe next month mm -hmm. well, how do the audiences in Europe receive your music or elsewhere when you travel around the world and perform or is this the first time uh, no no not the first time uh, it's actually really the first times that we would go to like Europe and things like this or 
Australia or uh, South America or Canada, things uh, just always impressed. You know, like sometimes you come to a new place, you're like, well, hopefully someone shows up, you know. But um, uh, I feel like we started putting music out right when YouTube began, and uh, it, there was it, something caught on real quick. You know, the there's a genuine sense of just being through the screen, I suppose, and mm -hmm. so. Uh, a lot of the things just went viral, and uh, people will always show up and have the most interesting stories to tell. Um, for instance, one of the first trips we took to Europe, uh, we went and played in Vienna. And uh, we had never played in Vienna before, but we had 1,200 people come. Wow. And I met this old, I just thought of this when you know, I was thinking of it, and there is this, like, literally, like, mountain family, like this mom and a dad who looked quite old to have a like six year old boy, but they were they came straight up from like deep in the mountains. They're like, How far away did you come? Like nine hours. Wow. And I was like, Oh wow, do you guys come into town often? You know? And they're like, No, it's been like a while. And I was like, You guys drove nine hours to get here from the mountains. Wow. And they like had knitted me like a scarf, you know, and those things. And they couldn't speak good English. And so we were just kinda like, you know, chatting like mm -hmm. through hand motions and things, you know, That's like nice. sort of broken English. And uh, it just is a reminder that, you know, you never know how music is going to get to a place. Mm -hmm. right. uh, there was a, a friend of mine about five years ago that uh, began working with us. And the first thing he said to me, he's from Somalia. And he said, man, I remember when I was nine years old and I was listening to Bob Marley on this dusty old broken radio in the desert with like six other kids dancing around. And he said... I remember thinking, how cool is it that his music could reach the far corners of the earth, places that you would never expect it to travel? And then he looked at me and said, and I think that that's what your music's going to do, and I want to help you. And I'll never forget that because we have definitely accomplished that in our small ways. Yes. And maybe not so small ways. It's amazing how the industry has changed, too. I mean, YouTube has opened up so many doors for tremendously talented musicians like yourself who might not otherwise find airplay on a radio station that's stuck in a format. But totally. you can get exposure to millions, as you are, yeah. with what you're doing on YouTube. And that's tremendous. And, and, you know, do you have a YouTube channel that people can find you at? Yeah, it's just NACO and Medicine for the People. Uh, and, you know, I, I feel like, you know, you have some YouTube videos that have a lot of views and things, but you have to back it up with being on the ground, too, you know? Yes, yes. So if you have a good balance there, then, uh, then you know, uh, you can continue to sort of go to places and have, have folks uh, come and join you. How does where you've lived affect your songwriting? I mean, all of the different places, because Hawaii has a certain specific... What's it called? The island sound. I mean, it has a sound associated with living in Hawaii and that lifestyle. But you've lived in so many other places. You, you put that into your music as well? Totally, yeah. I mean, like I was saying before, like the environment, you really saturate, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I haven't, living in Hawaii, I wasn't super, uh, uh, you know, didn't get into slack key, like really, really in depth. Uh, the old, like, you know, chanting songs are really dope and, like, definitely um, love those. But, uh, I suppose the um, like reggae music. I love reggae music, and so that uh, definitely was an influence. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the 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 sounds of uh, the places that you go to, like uh, whether you know you, you're studying like old school music that came from these places or or whatever. Um, uh, they all they all play their part, you know. And uh, I definitely consider myself like song collector, uh, and and love to to weave into the storytelling uh, stories of. Uh, of those places, but also uh, the sounds from which have come from there, whether it's the traditional people uh, or, uh, or or the um, previous musicians perhaps that lived there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. Well, Nako's with us, and we've got just a few more minutes and definitely want to get another song in, so yeah, what are you going to play Yeah, you guys want to mute us? this guitar? I'm going to switch over to the piano here. Sure. This is a song called Creation's Daughter. Prophets 
They are the change and the change in your pocket. Always pushing for the moment to lose control, but you just forget. Hey, Gorgeous. Nako, thank you so much for coming Mahalo. on. The album is called My Name is Bear. How can people find you on the web? What's your uh, your web address? Uh, Nako.com, N-A-H-K-O. And Facebook? Uh, and Medicine for the People, Nako and Medicine for the People. All right, well, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks Sounding for great. Enjoyed uh, meeting you and having you on the show. Thank My you class. so much. Mahalo. It's Nako and My Name is Bear. That's the name of the new album. My name is Larry London, and thank you for tuning in to today's Border Crossings.